Shane here, trying to continue the support for the new product, continue on from my last video, whilst we did um, a tutorial how to get some really fast flips and rows, and I had some great feedback from you guys. So keep the questions coming. Uh, this time we're going to a uh, bit more advanced this time, really try and replicate air mode in Lever Pilot. Now, air mode has only ever been around for people that run. Nase 32 board, so you either run clean flight or beta flight. Um, and you know, when you're in rate mode, you can have air mode so that you can climb to high altitudes, put the throttle on zero, and obviously, as the quad is diving for the floor, you still get control over it. Now, to achieve this in Lever Pipe, there is, isn't actually a setting for it, but there is a way around it. Uh, I don't, I will confess, I don't actually run a quad anymore with a CC3D in it. I, I got hooked on the Ho Luminear Lux uh, and Kiss ESCs, uh, and that combination with Luminear Moto is, is, is perfect for me. But for to keep the support going for you guys on, on Lever Pilot, I've constructed a little quad over the weekend. This is it. Uh, I got an Emacs frame, uh, some. Emacs 2204 motors. Um, we've got some real sketchy uh, 12 amp Luminear ESCs. Uh, a standard CC3D board. This is one of the original ones. It's not a Revo, it's not an Atom. It's, it's, it's before that. So, you know, we can do it with this one. You can pretty much do it with any. Um, the Because I'm running a Tyrannus on S bus on, on all the quads. Uh, for this this setup, I had something keeping cheerful. So we got ourselves a FlySky receiver on PWM, obviously the FlySky controller, just so that I could play around and change some settings, and we can show you guys and get you flying. So th this is what I'm running with. Obviously, um, video transmit size a TVS Unify Pro, um, Lumineer FPV camera, and the Triumph antenna from TVS as well. Fifteen hundred milliamp battery. Four cell, but 65C. So yeah, works works quite well. But I'll say I to give you guys new settings. I need to um, have a, a a running CC3D board. Now back to this air mode. Obviously, you can arm. You can tell clean pilot to arm you by switch. Um, if we move into the computer a minute, we can. I can show you this. Okay, so, where's my mask on? There we go. Uh, if you go into configuration, uh, and obviously then input and your arming settings, uh, you have to have this set up by an auxiliary switch. You can't have it set up by um, road to the left or, you know, the, the normal kind of CT3D arming thing. You need to set it up so you're I'm in by auxiliary. So on mine here, I've set that to auxiliary zero. And then in the input, auxiliary zero is on channel five. And basically it's either on or it's off. That is it. Um, and then my flight mode, I only have one flight mode and it's aqua plus, aqua plus, rate and thrust is manual. And you know that I know you guys have been getting some problems with it not arming, and you might need to play with it and tweak it a bit. But that those settings there work great for me. So you can arm, you can now arm it obviously with a switch, but what it won't do is react. So when I say that, the idea of air mode is it will stabilize your flight, it doesn't stabilize it as in the way of. Um, like attitude will, you know, you let go of the stick and it will level itself and, you know, take care of itself. This, this is acro, so you're, you're pointing in a certain direction um, and it's, it's aimed to keep in that direction until you give it a stick input to move it somewhere else. Now, the idea of air mode um, is to counteract its environment. So if you've held the quad on a dive, um, and let's say the wind is gusting from left to right, whatever way it might be, you know, it's going, obviously going to push, push the quad 
to the left or to the right. And the idea of it is it's going to combat it. Um, and it will give you that ability to be able to glide the cord down. Because as if it, you know, if you just bend the throttle uh, and they go back to idle without reacting to anything, the cord is just going to tumble and drop out the sky. So what we need to do is to get it to react. Now I've currently set it up so that it doesn't react. So if I can show you the two differences. So if we look at the quad now. Okay. We turn on the controller. Okay, and we power up the quad. Keep my hand phone on the top just in case. Now if I arm it, if I switch. There we go. If I wiggle it, nothing happens. It's not fighting me, it's not doing anything. It's just going to tumble out the sky. If we raise the throttle a little bit, there, now you can, you can hear it reacting to what I'm doing. And what we need effectively, let me stop that, effectively what we need to happen is for it to react to what I'm doing, but at idle speeds. Um, and that will effectively give you all but air mode. And it does work, I have flown with it, uh, and you can zero the throttle and then still control which direction it's coming down at. So let's go back to the computer. And all you need to do for this is obviously once you're set up um, with arming by a switch, by an auxiliary channel, we need to come down here to settings then open settings, come down to flight mode settings here. Also if I'm going too fast, you can pause and stop the video. And if we scroll down, we get to this one. It says always stabilize when armed. And if you click on that one, click to true, and then hit this little one here with the red arrow up, which is basically a save button. So you're saving that to the BIOS of the CC3D. Okay. And that is it. No red of light, that is it. So now we come back out of that. Okay, now we come back over to the cord again. Okay, so we turn on the controller again, make sure the throttle's at zero. We're gonna plug in the battery, like so. I'm gonna hold it down. Obviously, if you're gonna try this, take your props off. Uh, okay, so we're gonna arm it. Okay, now my other hand's here, so you can put it here like so you know I'm not, I'm not wiggling the throttle. Now if I wiggle the quad, it's already reacting to what I'm doing. Okay, and then I'm going to disarm. And there we go. Let me power that off. Turn off my controller. Let's go back to the PC. So that is it. So that will now allow you to whatever height you're going, um, you can basically you can you can even do power loops with it. So you can come along at a speed at a low level, full throttle, full throttle, slowly um, pull down on your pitch stick, get halfway through the loop, bin the throttle completely to zero, and then you'll still have control with your pitch and roll to take it out of the loop or even flip it on the way down um, and it won't tumble and drop out of the sky. Um, if you're in acro mode, it's also very convenient if you're going along at a speed and you want to do, uh, say, a barrel row. So normally you will drop the throttle a little bit, give it hard on the row and obviously straighten it up and throttle up again. But this time what you can actually do is get it faster by uh, a quick blip of the throttle and then bin the throttle to zero, roll it, and then catch it back on the throttle again. It'll be much faster, much tighter, uh, and you won't actually lose much altitude because your um, when your quad's upside down, your throttle's not raised a little bit, so you're effectively you're not pushing the quad into the floor. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's how you do air mode on a CC3D. Any questions, give me a shout, and hopefully it'll make your bit fly a bit better. Please be aware, this is only in acro mode. This is, this is not gonna work in uh, attitude or attitude or any others, purely acro mode. Um, 
obviously you need to be a bit more of an ounce fire to do it but if you're that far along and you want to get into air mode and um, falling or falling in style as they call it this is the way to do it so yeah any questions give me a shout uh, look at all my previous videos like subscribe um, yeah ask me anything cheers guys